high them crown and how not deal with thing they happen with thing they self. Let us get right into today's news. Welcome to our channel, guys. Uh, I want to talk about Kunle of Lions movies. Now I see a reason why these movies are top rated. Um, I just watched The CEO, Phone Swap, and I watched October 1st. Though I have my reservations about some scenes in Phone Swap, but in overall, I will still give it to Kunle Afonayo since it's a funny movie, okay? That's the only that's the only part I might have issues with. <laughs> Ah! Will you watch where you go? Anything wrong? I'm on the wrong flight. Please, how many hours to Nam the Aziki will worry? Worry? This yeah. flight is for Abuja. Do you know how disgraceful you look when you do that? Ben a song. But apart from that. I like his movie so far. This guy have a good story to tell, a good storyline and a reasonable suspense put together. The expatriate CEO of Transwire Nigeria recently retired. Kala, I'm going to to gender. Any employee, even you, could be spying for a rival firm, right? Yes. Even her. I'm good at what I do. Too good. Almost. I just sat back uh, with less expectations and um, I was convinced because the reason why I've stayed away from Kunle Afonayo's movie was for me, I used to think Kunle Afonayo is overrated, but a um, few days ago, I think someone suggested um, I watch the movie or something. So I watched one, uh, which was the first one I watched was Phone Swap. I was like, not bad. I move on to um, the CEO. And after the CEO, October 1st, trust me, guys, this guy is good. It's going to online. It's good. All right. You can hardly, you can hardly predict the next scenes. That's what a good movie should be about. Although I haven't had time to watch his new movie, Mokalik, right? And uh, there've been so much talk about Mokalik. I haven't watched it. I think good reviews and a little bit of bad reviews. Um, I watch the, the preview and you guys know, I've always have issues with Nollywood. And I'm happy that we have someone like Kunle Afonayo. Um, see me in that movie, Mokalik, and she, she doesn't strike me like a good actor. Um, like I said, it's just the snippet that I watch. You know, the part I watch, I, I'm not really impressed with that. Again, guys, don't hold me for it. I'm just a movie critic, right? That's that's just what we do. It doesn't mean that we are perfect. It doesn't mean that no, it's we're not perfect at all. Okay, guys, we're moving on to the next one. This is about South Africa. I saw it in the news. South Africa, um, you know, asking for forgiveness for what they did to other African nations. You know, when they they asked them to leave. You guys know the, the whole story. And I, I remember posting it on my Instagram page immediately. I saw the the news about those people. You know, asking for forgiveness. Um, I remember posting on my instagram page that trust south africans at your own risk <laughs> he's at your own risk i can't trust these people and that is because they've allowed the um appetite to kill them inside and it's very hard it's like you have to go it's a process they have to go to a therapist <laughs> before that could go away uh, you know it's something that is deep it's not something that oh you just ask for forgiveness okay even though they ask forgiveness i still feel like any nigerian or any african um that's right there uh, it's, they're risking their life that's just what i would say although yeah they try to ask for forgiveness and I, I got some messages of people saying how oh, what do you think they ask for forgiveness man I, I'm done with South Africans, okay? I'm just done with them. Um, I can't trust any South Africans. But guys, let's talk about songwriting. They will say, if you allow a musician to write for you, you're not a good singer or you are not a good artist. Guys, because you don't write your own song doesn't mean you have no talent. This conversation has been um, going on for a while now, okay? 
and so many people have mentioned davido you know and others but davido is like his top of their list that doesn't mean that you're not talented if you buy songs right i can't say the same for rappers because i believe rap is about storytelling and it must be a first person experience that's what i believe rap is about if it's not that then i don't know what you're rapping if someone writes your lyrics for you what are you rapping about you're rapping from that person perspective is not from your own perspective so rap is different but if you're a singer i think you're free to do that and there's a lot of people in america who are grammy award winners but get people to write for them well guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section below and um guys you know we've been talking about who's the best in africa um and Bonaboy boy has always popped up anytime we talk about the best in africa and i've seen people argue saying you know he's not born a boy you're just saying this currently that's what i'm saying i watch a rihanna video a video rihanna posted on instagram recently you know jamming to um born a boy song yeah burn a boy you must be playing burn a boy yes! <laughs> oh he, he does have it you were gonna play burn a boy but you searched through your 2000 and I don't know them words yet. Right. And this got a lot of people talking, man. Bona boy, you know, it's, it's a big thing now. Bona boy is it's trending now and all that. Recently, okay, I was in a forum, it's an online forum, um, and someone asked who is number one currently in Africa. I remember mentioning Bona Boy, and the person replied, Who determines whether an artist is number one in Africa or not? That's like a big question. Like, who determines whether a person is a number one in Africa or not? What determines that is UK and United States most especially united states united states interviews and celebrities playing your songs just celebrities playing your songs you will sweep awards in nigeria africa and other part of the world just by a celeb playing your song you can't argue you can't argue that i don't know how you want to say it okay but america still okay dictates who is number one you might not know but if you think deeply you will realize that they are the one on billboard this person this african artist is stopping the chart oh this guy is getting interviews in us all of a sudden this guy is everywhere this guy is selling out shoes this guy is selling out o2 arena that is what makes them number one now, if your song is being played in Brazil, right? Fine. Brazil is, you know, it's okay. I'm not, it's fine. But it has to be good in America. And this is what Kiss Daniel never got. Kiss Daniel's song was hugely accepted in, in Nigeria. It was hugely accepted in Africa. But what happened was the management, which, that, which I've talked about it um, here before. What happened for me was the management. And Kiss Daniel tried his best, but it just didn't work out. I don't know how those people do it, but I believe that if you spend more money on manager, if you spend more, more money on management, definitely, definitely, they will get you there at least you know move you there and that's why i said america dictates that america and uk they dictate that i'm very sure bonner boy can sell out ultra arena as we speak right now he might just say i want to i want to you know do a show at o2 arena immediately bonner boy will sell out the show just because artists american artists are mentioning your name i mean there's a reason why they are the number one in the world there's a reason the next one um this next one is hard for me because it's a nigerian artist that we're talking about here and i'm supposed to support a nigerian artist right but 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna say it as it is, right? Um, there's this comparison online, uh, who's the best, you know, between Fowls and um, Sarko Deer of um, Ghana. Guys, number one, Sarko Deer has been putting out songs, I mean, professional works before Fowls. That's number one. Number two, right? Sarko Deer is a, is a good rapper. F for me, that's my opinion. I see a lot of Nigeria supporting because they are Nigerians, right? But for real, like, if we are to face the facts, who does the rap well, like, so well? I mean, Sarko Deer. I know I'm Nigerian. I'm supposed to support Fowls. I know Fowls has, like, some kind of good message in some of his songs, not all of his songs. And so has you know Sarko Deer, you know Sarko Deer, I've listened to some Sarko Deer songs that actually um, you know contain some kind of a good message and that's just what I want to say let me know your opinion in the comment section below and like I said we're just gonna talk about this okay in the comment section below like matured people okay <laughs> <laughs> I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next news. Um, it's no news, okay? The fight between Lizzie and Jory and Tony Abraham. Guys, this is very, very serious. When I saw when I first saw Lizzie and Jory's video, hmm, a lot of things that she said in that video makes me think how people could be so so angry and so um so pissed that they would come online and say this to someone else so you, you are a bastard i will repeat it it takes a bastard to behave the way you are behaving look at me very well i have a good mind i don't bring people down i love people if anybody gets into my knives or something i shall be even if I'm fighting you, if anybody wants to give you business, I will give you. Because who am I to stop something that could put food on your table? Tony, so this industry, it's hard for some people to even put food on the table of the family. This industry, Tony, have you forgotten how people used to gather for our people when they are sick? Have you forgotten? Oreo Felari Bafa. So now all you could do is to attack your fellows with your fan base. You said I'm being envious of your success, Tony. Do you have a car? Do you have a house? Ask the Gafulai. Tony, you have nothing. You want to jack with Lia Lagbo Molobi Mossi? Tony. It took you 10 days to, ar to announce the arrival of your new baby. Because only the last lawyer costume, lower costume, lati she photo shoot. Ton paroki ripe, obi mosi londo, o she go shawu toni. How many people attacked you on that? Tony, it takes a bastard like you to do that. You've been lying. We, we see feminists, you know, fighting for the rights of um, females, but that's all lies. You know, females hate each other. Most of them hate each other. Most of them jealous each other. Most of them don't like each other. And to reflect in our movie industry as well, in Nollywood, there's no love in Nollywood as well. Like, that's it. There's no love at all in Nollywood. I feel like what Lizzie and Jorin did was defamation of character at its peak. She said Tony slapped her mother-in-law. Few days ago, you slapped your mother-in-law. Mo be benule, I want my to uncle Joe. Let if he shy da, I want no no sorrow. Sit at Tony and Mark. Stop it. That is why I don't like grooming people, and I will never groom people for evil. Oh, Rita. Check my page. I told my followers to come up with adverts. I think you should engage your followers in such manner or in that way. Tony, you. you should. You need it. Ota lipstick, oh, Rita. 
ati je eyan laye o gbodo ninu buruku somo la keje if you want to make it I mean Nigeria of today. If you want to be able to eat three times a day, oh God, I'll be some like it. Oh God, I'll shake off on you. And to make matters worse, she brought up this whole thing during the moment Tony Abrams' child was delivered. She even said that Tony didn't give birth in the hospital because she has no money. Recall Lizzie and Jerry had earlier taken to Instagram to call out Tony Abram for allegedly opening fake social media accounts to troll her colleagues in the movie industry. Everything she claimed Tony Abram did, okay, were all based on suspicion and not facts. Tony Abraham. You are saying bring on evidence, bring on evidence. I should bring on evidence. Tony. Although Tony Abram replied her through a lengthy post, but she insists on what she said about Tony's fake account. She granted an interview recently and vain abuses okay, on Tony Abraham. She kept saying Tony Abraham created several accounts on social media to tarnish her image. Although Tony requested that she apologize for defamation of character through her legal team. Tony said if she continues to tarnish her image, she would have no choice than to commence legal action against her in the sum of 500 million naira. But Lizzie counterclaimed that she is the one who needs to be apologized to that. She needs to be apologized. She needs that apology that Tony Abraham offended her and she has the right to sue her. But there's no, I don't know who advises these actors. Who is the advisor? Where is the evidence? And she kept saying she has evidence. Where is the evidence? Screenshots from, from an account you can't even link to Tony Abram, Abram's account. <sighs> she claimed that these are facts. How are they facts when Tony Abram is a celebrity? She's got fans. Who might take things personal? I even saw a part where she said, No fan has the time for all that. And I was like, Are you really in this world? No time, no fan will have a time to blast a celebrity on behalf <laughs> of another celebrity or on behalf of a rival. We have a lot of them on social media. I just think this is more about self respect. Ladies got their issues with each other. Most times, these things can't be proven. So I think it's more about self-respect here. It's just ladies wahala. That's just what I think. And Nadem Sabi. But guys, let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. So that's just what I have to say, guys. Let us move on to the question of the day. Okay, the first question, guys. Aside from money, what is the best thing you can do to impress a girl? Guys, what is the best thing you can do to impress a girl? And to the girls, aside from sex, what is the best thing you can do to impress a guy? <laughs> okay, moving on to the next one. Between school and 750 million naira which one would you choose between school and 750 million naira which one would you choose so that is where i'm going to hold it guys thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to like this video subscribe and last but not the least follow me on instagram facebook and twitter at mexican crown BTV. Until see you next time. Peace.